so yesterday in yesterday session we have uh, discussed about our string concept and we are trying to uh, um, enabling simple cluster and load balancer in apache tomcat right so <clears throat> let me start get apache tomcat Okay, I'm starting all the instances. Instance two, and then instance three. So I have started three instances. Okay, uh, to set up simple load balancer, uh, we have to add another workers, another worker in workers dot properties file. So sudo nano etc apache worker start properties file so this is the worker type we have to add extra uh, this is the special worker type status uh, so this is to check the status of uh, nodes uh, nodes list in the uh, cluster okay so this is the special type we have to add in the workers list and we have to map all these instances to in this worker okay so let me do the change so we have added three workers and we have to add one more worker okay so worker dot Balancer is the name. Balancer dot type. Okay. Load balancer. Okay. <coughs> so worker dot balancer dot. balance underscore workers okay so these are the workers list tomcat1 tomcat2 tomcat3 okay and another type is worker dot stat dot this is another worker type to check the status okay and finally we have to write the workers list so instead of passing all the instances here here we have to pass only balancer and stat two types we have to pass <coughs> balancer from stat okay okay and then save it yes. so next we have to uh, edit the default uh, file and we have to do some uh, configuration changes in that because we have created hosts three hosts right so we don't need uh, the three hosts right now because uh, we are deploying the same application in three instances. So we have to check how the application behavior is working. Okay. So sudo nano etc apache2 site safe and available. 0 0 okay default dot so these virtual hosts not required right now i'm just commenting 
Okay, hash is the comment of that line in the configuration files. Okay, after that we have to do this configuration. So we have to add these JK mount stats. So we have to mount these two. Okay, one is the balancer. So any request, okay. Uh, slash term is any application we are trying to access in the Tomcat, it will send to the balancer. So what uh, what workers list we have added in this ba balancer? In the balancer, we have added three instances. So it will send request to any one of the three instances. Okay, and the st status is to check the status of the load balancer. So we have to add these two <coughs> lines in the configuration so in the default virtual host we can add these two lines Okay, so I have added these two lines and save this file. Okay, now we have to start the Apache server, restart the Apache server. sudo service Apache 2 and restart. So if we access with this, it will open the Tomcat page. Okay, so in the background, we are running three instances. Okay, so here it is, Tomcat is running all the time. Okay, so if we, run, if we shut down any one of the instances, okay, it will not uh, this page will appear because we we are running three instances in the background so so if any instance is down it will send the request to other instance so for your understanding purpose i will do some small modification in this application so then you can find out okay uh, then you can understand clearly let me go to Tomcat installation Apache Tomcat Apache 2 web apps root. So this is the sorry, not this one instance one. We have started these three instances, right? So we have to change in these instances. So the default application is calling root root folder whatever content is there in root folder that content we are able to see in this in this request okay so uh, where we can add okay so after this congratulations I will add instance one Okay, install Tomcat. I will uh, put some text here. Instance one. This is instance one. I am saving this and go to instance two.
open the index.js page. So add instance to save it. Go to instance three. Edit in extra JSP and add the text instance three. Okay, and then save it. <clears throat> now you can go to browser and refresh this page. So it is coming instance three. If you see here, instance three means this request sent to instance three. Say again refresh instance 2 instance 1 this time it is processing inst request instance 1 instance 3 instance 2 instance 1 so it will it will change the request so we don't know which which instance will process that request Okay, so any 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 instance can process the request, but only one instance will process the request. All instances will not process the request. Okay, is it clear? Any doubt? <clears throat> so like this, load balancer will work. So how we can check that? Uh, how many instances are there in that load balancer? And we can see the status page okay if you access this this is the load balancer status page so to <clears throat> start auto refresh every 10 seconds it will, if you start this it will every 10 seconds it will refresh this page okay so here s means show only uh, this this worker and e means edit worker r means reset worker state and t means try worker recovery okay so if you go down see here this is the work balancer members these are the balancer members we have added balancer members in sorry, etc apache So here we have added balancer members tomcat1 tomcat2 and tomcat3 you can see here in the status page tomcat1 tomcat2 and tomcat3 and the type is ajp13 ajp13 and ajp13 host name local host and this is the ajp port 8101 8209 okay so this is the yes S for show only this worker and E for edit this worker and e R for recovery the worker. So this is the worker one and this is the act action. It is state is okay. Okay, so now three instances are running. So that's why it is showing the uh, status is state is okay. Okay, if we shut down any one of them, <clears throat> okay, it will show an error okay so let me stop instance 3 okay so if I now, now I refresh here instance 2 instance 1 so every time it is processing request instance 1 okay sometimes instance 2 also will process Okay, so if we go to status page, uh, let's say refresh, refresh this page. Okay. Now here you can see the state is error. Okay, uh, remaining two are okay. Okay, now. <clears throat> 
So I will start this auto refresh. Okay. And let's say I will shut down the instance one. <coughs> and start the instance two. Sorry, start the instance three. Sorry. I shut down the instance one and I will start the instance two. Instance three, sorry. So if we go to this status page, <coughs> in every 10 seconds it will automatically refresh. Otherwise, we can reload here. See here, instance one is I shut down the instance one or not. This is the error okay instance one is error and instance two and instance three both are working fine see still our application is running okay if if even i uh, shut down instance two sorry shut down instance two See, still application is running, but this time it is sending the request to instance three. Okay, see the status page. So two are errors. Okay, only one instance is running in this load balancer. Okay, so if we start instance one and instance two. So it will automatically recover those instances. Is it clear? Now, if we refresh this page, request this request processing is just three only every time. Yeah, now this time it is changed to instance one, instance two. Okay, so like this, load balancer will work. Okay, so load balancer will handle the user request and it will send to any one of the instance. <coughs> okay, based on the instance availability it, uh, it will process that request okay so like this we can uh, enable simple load balancer okay so here one problem is there if we uh, set up simple load balancer so we will have some problems so yesterday we have discussed about the session replications right so let me discuss about that so i have to change this application let me shut down all the instances to each instance and need to replace this root content no 
okay and desktop i have a sample application okay and same i can go to instance to so instance to root directory also we have to delete the existing content so i am replacing i am just replacing the another application into into this root directory okay for uh, your understanding purpose i am doing these things <coughs> okay and So now I have uh, removed uh, root content in all the instances and I have placed the new application in the root directory. Okay, it is just a shopping cart uh, page. Okay, so let's start the all the instances. started three instances if we okay let me start So here I have to do one small modification in this index.jsp. <coughs> so here I have to change some text. So this is the instance three. I'm changing the name. <coughs> Just text I'm changing in all the instance applications. Instance two. Okay, and then save it. Now I am accessing the application. Okay. Login to the manager console. <coughs> See here this request sent to instance two. Okay, and this is the session ID, it is a new session. Okay. This is also Tomcat. Tomcat. Eighty-three, eighty-three. Fresh manager. So I logged into three instances. <coughs> okay, I have accessed this application. Okay, it is just a shopping cart. 
so this is the session id and this request processed by instance 2 okay if you if we go to this instance 2 here we can see the sessions 1 okay if we go to instance 1 there is no sessions here zero sessions and instance 3 also zero sessions okay if i click on this sessions in the second instance okay so this is the session id you can see here the session id okay okay now i will add some books here okay i am adding some books to this cart add cart so book is added and it is changed to instance 3 okay it is changed to instance 3 if we see instance 3 one new session is created if i go to this session so here is the session and if we click on this session we can see the book java in this session okay let me add one more book let's say c okay stay see here we are able to see only one book previously i have i have added java book it is not there because this request sent to instance one in this instance one there are no uh, 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 no sessions previously okay if i click on list applications so here one session is created in this session we have one book and in this session we have another book okay if i add one more book this is sent to instance 2 see what is the problem here okay if we use sessions in our application okay we are losing the data right so user losing the data so we have to do the session replication in the cluster is it clear my point okay if we if we are enabling clustering okay clustering means we are uh, grouping the uh, some instances so any any one instance can process the request okay see here it is not processing the request properly because uh, my uh, data is missing here so I am adding books to my card so it is not uh, all books are not in the card because every time it is sending a request to uh, new instance so I am losing my session right so how we can replicate this session okay so yesterday we have discussed about the uh, session replication in tomcat right so we have a multicasting and session manager okay <clears throat> so we have to enable uh, multicasting first to enable multicasting so these are the steps steps to make session replication in tomcat clustering so first we have to enable multicast routing okay so we have to add this and next add cluster entries in the server XML file in all the instances and enable the web application as a distributable and we have to run this uh, command to enable uh, multicasting address okay so this is the simple tomcat cluster we no need to do any configurations we can add this line it is a simple cluster it will uh, dynamically uh, add the default behavior okay so first we have to run this command so this is based on your so if config <coughs> So here is the ETH zero. So you have to give this one. Okay. Your IP address, uh, Ethernet number, you have to give. Okay. Some, uh, someone may get ETH one. Uh, 
or eth2 like that also you can get okay you have to give this number this is your local ip address internet address so you have to give this one okay ETH zero okay enter so next we have to add the cluster entries in the configuration file so we have to uh, go to instance one conf edit the server.xml file <coughs> So we have to add the cluster. So we can directly enable this one. It is a simple cluster. We copy this and paste outside the comments. Okay, in the same way, we have to do it for instance two. So instance two, edit this server.xml. Instance three, open the server XML. and paste the cluster element. Okay, now we have to restart the all instances. Shut down. Instance one, instance two, and then instance three. Okay. Okay, we have uh, enabled multi casting and we have uh, updated all the server.xml cluster element and we have restarted the target instances. So now let's go to browser. Now refresh here. So it's temporarily unavailable. Okay, maybe some error came while starting the instances. So where we can find the logs, we can go to logs folder. You can open the Catalina dot today's date. It is fine. started okay <laughs> thank you <clears throat> yeah instance two and instance three okay 
So now go to browser. <coughs> Refresh here. So this time it is processed. We have one session and okay. In all instances, we have one session. So, this is instance three. If I click on this, so in this, we have a three books. Okay, let's say. <coughs> start uh, adding job here okay it is adding okay see here it is uh, send request to instance one but all our books are there in the cart right all our books in cart see here so if I refresh here all books are there in this in this session so this is instance three okay so this is instance two okay if i go to this session id open this all books are there here okay if i go to instance one session id open this all uh, books are there in this session also okay we are not losing the session here okay so uh, here I want to explain something. So here is the important point to remember. Okay, so in the, all the instances, this session is available, right? So here you can see, see, session ID, this one, okay. And type is, what happened? Okay, the type is primary right if you see other instances backup backup right this is the primary one okay in this this is the primary session storing in this instance okay these are these two are backup okay if I sh now if I shut down any one instance I shut down so second is the primary right so I am shut down in the second instance <clears throat> now here you can see a uh, refresh sessions list there is some issue with the loading okay this is backup so we shut down instance 2 right so let me See here, these two are showing only backup because there is no new request came. Okay, both are showing backup, and this obviously it is down. Okay, it is not available. So let's say I add one more book. Okay, I have added another book. Now we can see these sessions. So this is the primary. So 
so this is the backup right so if i <coughs> start that instance 2 okay let's refresh okay see session is backup and the session is automatically restored right we have we have shut down this instance and we have uh, started okay but it is session is replicated to this instance also so user cannot pause his session right so what is the problem here so this is the if we are not specifying the cluster type <clears throat> okay by default it will take the uh, backup backup manager so we yesterday we have discussed about to may backup manager and data manager right <clears throat> okay so by default it will take the data manager okay so if we are working with the uh, large clusters then we have to use the backup manager okay so <clears throat> so here <clears throat> we have three instances this session is replicated to all the instances let's say we have 10 instances in this cluster so it will replicate the same session to all the instances okay if you are same thing we are going to apply for the 100 instances so it will replicate the same sessions to 100 instances so that is the time consuming and it is uh, it's a not a good practice why we have to replicate all the sessions okay so if we use delta uh, if we use backup manager it will replicate only one session uh, only one instance okay let's uh, change this delta manager to backup manager so where we can find these configurations we can find these configurations in tomcat conf uh, tomcat documentation also you can go to tomcat API documentation say let's go to clustering so here is the uh, default one okay you can copy this one you can copy a complete thing okay here is the uh, data manager okay <clears throat> And if you want to add backup manager, we have to add this backup manager. Let me let's add me, let me shut down all the instances. Instance three. So here we have to update all the server XML files. save it save it and go to instance 3 okay so if you are not specifying all these configurations by default it will take this port okay receiver port we have to change okay by default it will uh, change to 4000 to 4100 okay so we have to change this port if we are not specifying this configuration it will automatically arrange the sport arrange these ports so we are uh, here we are mentioning this configuration so we have to change this port okay so we have to let's say this is the 4001 for the instance 2 go to instance 3 configuration so 2 okay <clears throat> so
so this is the backup manager so we have to change to delta manager right I'm copying this manager element. Okay, I'm commenting, commenting this one. Delta manager. And I'm placing backup manager here. Okay. the same thing for instance one also okay so <clears throat> I, have I have changed uh, cluster configuration from delta manager to backup manager okay so now we have to start the all uh, instances Okay, so we have started the instances. <clears throat> Let's say refresh. Okay, so everything is clean. We have one session here. The instance three there are no sessions instance two one session and instance uh, one one session okay let's say this is the first process by instance two let's say add put java okay this time it, uh, the request is sent to instance three okay let's add another book c plus plus okay the book java book is available and this request is processed by instance one okay so so in all the instances instance one is there and uh, instance three only zero zero sessions okay if i open this session <clears throat> if I open this session, this is the type is primary. Okay, in the session two. Okay, this is the backup. Okay, there is no sessions in the instance three. Okay, it is storing sessions only two instances. One is the primary and another one is the backup. Okay, if we see uh the delta manager we will have one primary and remaining all are backup okay it is the session is replicating to all the instances in the delta manager in the backup manager it is uh, sending the session to only one instance one is primary and another one is backup is it clear any doubts on comparing cluster Let's add JavaScript. See here, this time it is changed to instance. So now we are able to see sessions in instance three also. Maybe it will delete. Yeah, in the instance one, there are no sessions right now. Okay. If we refresh the list, okay, 
okay this is the backup because recently request processed by instance 3 so that's why this is the primary instance primary type okay <clears throat> i hope you understand the clustering concept right Hello, are you able to hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not getting any response. It will choose. Cluster will uh, choose. <coughs> it, it will replicate the session any one of the instances. So currently three instances available, right? It will choose auto automatically based on the heartbeat signals. Okay. So uh, here you can see this is the uh, manager. This manager is to story replicating the sessions. Okay. And uh, this is the membership. Based on this, it will add a member in the cluster. Okay. Membership. And this is the we have to give the port. Okay. And the receiver. This is the cluster side receiver. And this is the member, member side. Okay. See here multicast service based on this uh, multicast uh, request, it will add the member to cluster group. If uh, if we see the log file, So see here membership member added okay member added replication member so uh, while starting that instance it will write the uh, Cluster, cluster log also here you can see delta manager register manager local host to local lo, to cluster element engine with the name catlina <coughs> okay starting cluster clustering manager at local host okay requesting session state from uh, some class okay it is see here this port is 4001 Okay. So like this, we can configure clusters. Okay. And load balancing also. So is there any doubts on, on Tomcat? So if you want to install uh, a, as a daemon. Okay. So we have to write some script. Okay. And we have to write like this, okay, sudo, and we have to write some uh, uh, batch uh, shell script to that shell script we have to store in this etc init.d, okay, whatever scripts 
are there in Intune Dirty, it will try to uh, uh, execute at the startup of your system. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's start. Sudo nano etc init dot d tomcat okay Okay, I am pasting this content here. Huh? The remaining thing is not clear. Let me correct this one. <coughs> Okay, copy this and <coughs> paste here. Okay, so we have to change the eight dot zero dot thirty two. So we have to change this paths also. Copying this, <coughs> so go to end, put a slash, paste. This is the Java home and USR local Apache Tomcat. Okay, and a dot so a dot zero dot. Here are so we have to update. Apache Tomcat. Eight dot zero dot thirty two.
Apache slash Tomcat. Okay, and then save it. Okay, okay next we have to uh, give some permissions to this uh, 7 double permissions. <coughs> So sudo uh, chmod seven double five and etc init dot d and tomcat. Okay. So we have to update this one. Update hyphen rc dot d space tomcat defaults okay if we update this only then it will start <coughs> okay okay it is added permission generator okay, sir we have to add sudo okay it is updated okay now go to so the main tomcat de default port is 8080 right so it is not started so let's start how we can start sudo service tomcat start new line Expect. Let me check once. <coughs> In the D and Tomcat. Syntax error Tomcat six three. Okay. So. Okay, save it. Syntax error, new line unexpected. Where it is new line unexpected. Target 14 line. start etc slash in it dot t not form
four and five. Path is correct. Let me check the path once. <coughs> Okay, anyways, I will share the script. Okay, you can just uh, put that script in etc init.d folder and you can uh, run these commands. Okay, you can give these permissions and you can update this rc.d file. Okay, so that then it will automatically start. So whenever you want to start, you can run using this command service tomcat start or stop or restart. Okay. Is it clear? So that's all. Um, Tom, get yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no. I just. I mean, do we have a class tomorrow? Uh. So. So what about uh, all others? So not uh, for me, it's okay to take a class tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi, it's Sunday. Uh, if you are not available, uh, I will not take any session tomorrow. If all are available, then I will uh, start Jenkins tomorrow. Uh, it's okay for me. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I think some Jitendra, uh, I think. Okay. Uh, yeah, because it, because it's a weekend for us. Maybe some some may, uh, some may not be interested. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. If you all are available, all are say yes, then I will take session. Start from next. Uh, I think it's better from Monday. Yeah. Okay. So next session from Monday. Okay. Next topic Jenkins. Okay. If anything is pending in the Tomcat, I will cover in that session also. Okay. Uh, <coughs> uh, and how many classes does Jenkins uh, uh, take? Three, three or more. Okay. Three or four, sorry. Okay. okay. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Yeah, sure. I will upload the videos. <coughs>